Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I am creating my very first entry into my Coco Daisy Traveler's Notebook for the month of September. This is the Daisy Fields Kit. Um, this kit was the August kit um, for their Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping subscription. Um, they release a month ahead of time, so this is the August kit, which is for documenting September. Um, today I am documenting my family and I, um, our fair day that we went to. Uh, we have one night a year that we always look forward to going to the fair um, for tractor pulls and seeing all of the farm animals and the auctions and things like that. Um, and this was our day. Um, so I have had multiple pictures that I was trying to fit in on the spread. Um, and what I chose to do is just narrow it down really to my four favorite animal photos, which you see there on the right hand side of the page. And then one of my family and I sitting in the stands for the tractor pulls on the left. Um, I absolutely love these pictures of these animals. I felt like that they were looking at me every single time I walked by them, so I had to take a picture. Um, but the cows were super cute. They were both looking at me at the time and the y'all the expression on that pig's face the third picture down was super cute. You have to take a look at the close-ups that will be listed at the end. Um, I chose this paper in my TN that has the wheat sprays on them. Um, that left page there is a tan and browned pa uh, pattern paper with wheat on it. And then on this rub out, rub on sheet, um, there were also two little sprigs of wheat as well. So I thought, perfect, we're gonna tie this all in together. Um, and it'll help tie the left page into the right and vice versa. Whenever I was cutting out um, those two wheats on the rub-on sheet, I also found this rub-on that said eight, and it actually says what we ate, but what we is very small on the left of the A. Um, and I thought this is perfect, I gotta use that too, because we all have our own favorite thing that we look forward to eat whenever we go to the fair every year. So I thought I would use that to document what our favorites were. Um, so like always, I way overthought this right hand side of the page. I played around with embellishments on it forever. Um, I do end up using a lot of rub ons on it. But then I also found that pink um, tag there or ticket with the number zero one on it and thought, well, that's perfect. It's a fair represents, you know, kind of like an admission ticket. Um, so I wanted to pull that in and use it, but I had nothing else pink or that anywhere close to that tone on my spread anywhere else. So I am going to use that rub on that you see up at the top right to help bring it in. And then also um, down below, I end up using a hello banner right below my little piggy friend. Um, and that will help pull it in down there as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and put on what we ate um, underneath the, on the right there. Um, I'm gonna put the wheat where the pink ticket is. Um, but I tuck it underneath that pink ticket. Um, but when I was when I was figuring this part out, I, like I said, I really overthought the embellishments on this side. Um, I wanted my pinks to be staggered. I didn't want both the ticket and the banner to be lined a left. So I had to move the hello banner over, um, then which changed how I, which wheat I wanted to use where. So yeah. So after a, a lot of over analyzing, um, I end up just putting the wheat down and <laughs> this ticket will go down on top just like that. Um, this piece of wheat though, I am going to lift up the end of that banner tail um, and I am going to tuck it in underneath there. I think when embellishments overlap like this, um, I feel like that it helps make it more cohesive and it makes it more intentional, um, like that it's actually supposed to be like that. So those two will finish like that. This one, I couldn't figure out which direction I wanted it to be, if I just wanted half of it to and then to save the other half, or if I wanted to put it um, on a sharp diagonal, but I did know I wanted to use that bottom right, or bottom left um, darker daisy. Uh, that daisy has the perfect tones of yellows, tans, and oranges, and even a little bit of touch of that pink, um, and it really helps bring the whole piece together. Um, so I went ahead and left it on the the angle a little bit and then used the bulk of that that rub out, the rub on. Um, when I used this daisy, I knew I wanted to layer it over one of those hexagon stickers. Um, that sticker sheet 
that is a freebie that you get when you subscribe to Coco Daisy. Um, it does not come or ship with your kit. It is a free download on the website when you log into your account. Um, I actually just download it and import it into my Silhouette Studio and then I do the print and cut feature to make it a kiss cut um, sticker sheet with removable sticker paper that I have here at home and I love it. It is the perfect touch to this kit um, and it adds a lot more uh, little embellishments too. Um, so I do end up putting that uh, underneath that daisy sticker on the top right. Um, and then I do a few other little things over there, but I, I wasn't sure at this point what more I really wanted to do. Um, so I went ahead and moved over to the left side. And on the left side, when I was looking at my photo, I realized that there was not a whole lot of um, the gold, the yellow. So I used this darker yellow, almost orange piece of paper um, to back my photo with. It helps tie in the tones um, that are in that daisy on the top right. And it also pulls out the darker yellows that are in the wheat rub-ons as well. I am going to end up placing that photo close to the top of my page like it is there. Um, I do grab the sticker sheet again. Um, there is a sticker that just says documented, but it has the same wheat background pattern that the paper does on this side. Um, so I go ahead and put that up at the top of my page and um, stick this piece down. While I'm on this side, I know that I want to use Fair Day as my title. Um, if I used, you know, the whole full title of what the fair was, there definitely would not be enough vowels. So I just shortened it up um, and used Fair Day and then went into more detail in my journaling. Um, these puppies stickers that came with the kit are probably some of my favorite alphas that I get from Coco Daisy. Um, their puffy alphas vary every from month to month. Um, sometimes it, it is a simpler, smaller font like this. Other times it is a large script font. Other times it's larger, simpler fonts. Um, this size I find for me it works the best. I feel like I get the most bang for my buck with this set. So I was super excited to see um, that this smaller puffy alpha was included in this kit this month. Um, another thing that's a favorite of mine is the stamp sets. They have been including the last several months um, the month name and also the month number. Um, so for example, this one is 09, obviously for the month of September. And they've also been including journaling boxes, which give you that spot for your journaling or prompt you for, um, other stamps and whatnot. And, and I absolutely love that about these stamp set. They are so versatile and you can use them for so many different things other than just this. Um, so I am going to use that journaling box and I'm going to stamp it below fair day. And I'm also, while I have this out, I'm also actually going to use just a part of this, um, the two lines together, and I am going to ink up just the two lines and stamp them below what we ate and just use that for where I'm going to, or use that for my journaling lines and where I write, um, and document what we had and what our favorite fair foods were. Um, this last set of two didn't line up perfectly. It ends up with a, a little bit of a miss space in there, but honestly, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. And once the words get in there, you can really even hardly tell the difference. Um, back over on the left side though, I am gonna stamp that 09 in that box on the left. And then I really, again, I way overthought this whole stamping. Um, the stamps that are in this, they really, they make it perfect for what fits there. So I do end up thinking about it, but I had to walk away for a minute. Um, <laughs> the, uh, there is a stamp in this set that has a little checkbox beside it with the word snapshot. And I love that the word snatch, snapshot worked great with our photo. So I just did an ink up that checkbox and I just double stamp snapshot right below documented on my banner there. So I do end up using the word autumn and I stamp that below the 09. I added my date to the right of that. And then I'm gonna go back up and start adding in a little bit of my journaling. I do a lot of bouncing around on this layout from left to right, back and forth constantly. Um, and it's just because 
I did what I knew I wanted to do at that moment. Um, I don't necessarily limit myself just to working with the right side, finishing it, and then moving it to the left. I think that limits me too much. Um, so I do a lot of bouncing back and forth in my projects. I do end up on that pink ticket. Um, it, there's a little spot for a date. I just put 2022 and then up on the top part of that ticket, I just scribble wrote SEPT for September abbreviation. Um, that was me having a moment on how I didn't know how to spell teriyaki. So I had to Google how to spell teriyaki because my husband always makes fun of me whenever he looks at stuff um, that I document. And he goes, hey, you spelled this wrong. That's because I'm not a speller. I'm a math person. <laughs> so I always have to look up what I am spelling so that I don't spell it right. But anywho, I went in and added in um, my journaling, what our favorite foods were from there from the night. And then while I had the stamp set out, there was this cute little bumblebee um, with a trail stamp. So I added him in to fill in those little gaps um, around the wheat rub-ons. And then I do use um, that little trail there. Um, I do end up stamping or inking just part of it and using it in um, the next box down. That way it kind of looks like it's, you know, carrying from box to box. So at this point, I then go back in and I realized I didn't, I had this gap still um, on that top line there of my journaling box. So I used the one stamp that was in the stamp set called, and it says fall memories. Um, even though this really isn't fall yet, it's the time of year where summer starts to turn to fall. So I thought we're just going to go with it, not overthink it, and just ride with it. Um, I am going to add in some enamel dots. Um, I do put a sticker there of a half daisy to help bring some weight to the bottom of that left-hand side. Um, so I sprinkle a couple enamel dots there to complement that one up at the top on the banner. And then I do sprinkle, um, two in each of the open boxes there on the right hand side, just to tie and bring everything together. Um, and then lastly, the only thing I have left to take care of is my journaling, um, which I do manage to squeeze in four lines of journaling. Um, in that open center section on the left hand side of the page there. Again, I'm like way overthinking all of these enamel dots. I feel like I have to have the perfect placement for everything sometimes. And most of the time it's totally not necessary. And then I go back when I'm doing my voiceovers and think, well, that looked perfectly fine. Why did you even change it? But it is what it is and I overthink everything, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up my journaling here and then we're gonna call this spread done. Um, I will link below uh, the Coco Daisy website if you're interested in the TN Memory Keeping Kit. You're more than welcome to take a look at it there to find out more information. Um, and that is going to be it for today's layout. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. I hope you've been inspired and I hope you've had fun. Take a look at a couple of the close-ups here at the end. And if you are not a subscriber, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. And once you are, if you hit that bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. Have a wonderful day and a great week. Bye.